Hello, my friend. Welcome to TubeU Channel. I'm Henry. Recently, I modified my 3D printer to become a multifunctional CNC machine. I have changed it to be a multi-pen 2D color plotter, a drag knife cutter, and a PCB board drill machine. All of them work very well without interference with the original 3D printing function. Usually, I get the G code using Adobe Illustrator and G code scrap combination. Then, modify it to fit my 3D printer. It is good for simple work. Today, I will tell you how to use Carbide Create to generate the G code file. It is more functional and really for CNC machine. I will tell you the detailed information that how to set up hardware and how to modify the G code file to fit your 3D printer. Stick around. Let's do it. First, we must define the working area. Here, I give you my method that how to do it. Give the area that your 3D printer used. I use 200 times 200 mm instead of the real 3D printer 210 and 210. Since I use a PCB box to cover the bed and contain the waste, the real working area is less than that area. We can determine it directly using the menu method. After setting the 3D printer home O, mount the drill that you want to use. Level up Z axis until higher than the box area. Move the printer head to the four corners place and check the X, Y and Z axis information. Now you know the working area related to the coordination parameters. Now, open the carbide create. Select the gear icon to set up the parameters for your 3D printer. In width and height, you still can use the number close to your 3D printer bed. But keep in mind that your working area is another parameter. The thickness Z is the value that you measured before. Maybe add a little bit more like tolerance in 3D printer. Use the bottom as zero height is a better choice. Tool plus zero, you can choose the same as your 3D printer home place. In my case, the lower left. The material you can choose, the one that you use, or just choose a clothing type. The machine, you can choose one of them. The retract height is the height when the drill moving. The higher is safer, but it takes more time to move. I select 2 mm. Unit, I usually use millimeter. In the set grade, you can choose the grid line for easy positioning. The set background, you can load an image for your background or as a drawing sample. Or you can trace the image as your starting sample. Load the image, trace the image. Now the image has been changed to a vector image. Edit the vector node. Select the node and delete the inner nodes. Press D to delete the selected nodes. Only leave the outside part. Add a text inside the image. I add thank you for a test. Also, it represents the TubeU channel, I think. <laughs> Add a square as your working area. It will help you better when adjusting your drill image. I make four copies and add an initial character to represent the drill bit that I will use. The P represents the office pin. V represents a V-shaped drill bit. E represents an mere bit. In fact, it is just a normal drill. And N represents my new rear and mere bit. Now it's time to talk about the drill bit. I have not had any of the drill bit that the library displayed. I have my own homemade type only. Number 1. Office pin and mirror. This time I cut the tip of the pin, grind it to a flat shape, like a knife. Place the mouse above the end mirrors and right click it to add new tools. In the pop-up menu, 
You can input the parameters that represent the office pin and the mirror. The diameter is about 0.5 mm. The plunger rate I used 2000. It is the moving speed. The feed rate is the speed that the moving drill when drilling. So select the lower speed. RPM controls the motor speed that I adjust manually, so no use for me. The depth is every time when moving down the distance in that axis. A small number is good, but it will take a long time to cut a deep area. Choose it wisely, not interfering with the cutting quality, but also fast. The 3D speeds and feeds part I don't use, just leave it alone. One by one, input all the parameters that I used this time. Now we start making CNC drill configuration. First, select the part that you want to drill. Select the P for office pin and select the tool as well. The P I use counter, it is mean only cut along with the line. Start the depth I select the top. Max depth as 0.3 mm. No offset. Click OK to finish it. Select the sum image and the TU text together. I use a pocket to drill a large area. The parameters, drill diameter, step over and hide will influence the quality of the final output. You can edit it later after you get the optimized set. Click save G-code to save the G-code file. Now we start to modify the G-code file. Change the file extension from NC to G-code. Open the G-code file with Notepad++. We can see the file contains mainly the coordination value with the limited command to operate the machine. First, delete the header part since we will use our O. Use the find and replace function to delete O, G0, G1 since we will add manually. Carrot mark represents O line at the start place. Use find and replace function to find it and replace with G0 and the space to O line. Now O file contains the X, Y, and Z axis value and the control command. At the start heading part that we used before, change the Z height high enough that not touch the side place of the PCB box. Copy one line at the start part. This will keep the drill tip moving to the first place at the starting Z height. And the ending part as well. Check the final G-code file with laser web. It looks fine. Start the drill using your 3D printer. Every time when you change the drill bit, you should adjust the thickness and the coordination to a set. One by one, now we get the O printed image on an MDF board. Number one. Office pin and the mirror bit. It works quite good except on the counter place. This is because the pin is roughly flat and not sharp and strong enough. In the large area, the quality is quite nice. I think it can be used to soft material as a test pattern. Number 2. E. Normal drill. The counter part is better than the office pin. But the large area is not good since the head of the drill is not flat. It leaves a lot of bump places. We should adjust the parameter more. Number 3. V-shaped drill bit. 
It is very nice in both counter place and large place. The only problem is the head diameter is small. In the precision consideration, it is very nice. But in a large area and mirror, it will take a long time to finish the job. Anyway, the quality is satisfied. Number four, rear and mirror bit. I brought it from Amazon Japan. It is a one millimeter diameter and mirror bit. The counterpart is good. Also, the large area is good, but the small area is not a complete fit, since the space between the outline and the text is less than one millimeter. The end middle bit cannot pass through. Oh, the other places are very nice. The conclusion is clear. The V shape and the normal end middle bit are very good. The V shape can do very precise milling, but it may take a long time. The end middle bit can do the large area work very good. The office pin also can do the work quite nice if the material is soft. The normal drill bit is not good for any mirror project. If you have seen the video here, please do me a favor: click the subscribe button and the small bell, so you will not miss my update. Tubeo China is waiting for you.